שמע ישראל, השם אלוקינו, השם אחד. Though the above verse is not stated in Parashat Mishpatim, which we read this week, it is essential for understanding what it's all about. The Parashah gives us 53 divine commandments, which are split into 30 don't do's and 23 do's. Most of them deal with the relationship between people, families, and work animals, and how best to respect the other, and what responsibility we owe towards the other in many different scenarios. What strikes me as amazing is the ability of the Torah to overemphasize the importance of mutual respect and helping of the needy while being hardline in its stance to not tolerate even a minuscule event of getting near Avodah Zarah. For example, twice in the parasha we are reminded not to harass or oppress the foreigner who lives amongst us, both as a community and as an individual, as we were foreigners in the land of Egypt, and at the same time, we are not allowed to mention by name any other gods, let alone study them or learn about them. So we must respect the foreigner, whether a convert or not, yet have no place or tolerance for a different pagan religion within our boundaries. This is crucial to understand in our day and age when the very wrong and destructive philosophy of accept everyone as they are roams and expands through the Western world. In the Shema Israel, we are not merely stating that Hashem is one in and of, of Himself as a separate entity to us and our world that from afar created us. We are stating that we recognize that we, together with our families and everything we see and imagine, are one with Hashem. Hashem is not separate from us. He is us and we a part of Him. Being that understood, we can understand the huge responsibility and duty of respecting life other people and animals, while not permitting for a moment for a foreign God to enter our boundaries physically or spiritually. Shabbat Shalom.